Hello sparkly people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina, your favorite burlesque YouTuber, and on today's episode, we are getting into another traveling showgirl vlog. But I'm doing things a little bit differently, and I hope you like the new format. Um, I'm doing two shows this week in Philadelphia. The first one is the Boom Boom Room, and the second one is the Green Fairy. So grab a drink, grab a glass, and watch me shake some ass. Here we go. The first show that I'm doing this week is The Boom Boom Room, which is a show that I've done before and I absolutely love. You can tell I was so excited because I had to show you the details of my outfit, which I'll link in my Amazon storefront. This show is actually done at The Blind Barber in Philadelphia, and when you walk in, it looks just like a barber shop. And it actually technically is a barber shop during the day, um, but at night, uh, once you go through these doors after I show you guys my outfit, um, this place is actually a speakeasy with two levels. So when you first walk in, you've got the first bar, it's like the overflow bar. Then you've got like these old school retro stairs. It almost feels like the Stardust Lounge, like you're going to see the Rat Pack upstairs. So you walk up the stairs and then look at this amazing venue. It's so sexy, it's so old school. I got here early, so there's nobody here yet, except for the DJ and a couple people who are just drinking. If you follow me on Instagram, you might recognize this main bar area as where I did the photo shoot for the Boom Boom Room show itself when it first came out, but it's a fully stocked retro looking bar. I had to get a drink. The drink specials here are absolutely amazing. This is the Hot Heather, it's a tequila drink. Now, mind you, I've already been back to the dressing room and dropped my stuff off, looked at the set list, and then came out to get myself a drink, but you know, couldn't show all that in the YouTube video, but this is where the dressing room is, all the way in the back by the bathrooms. And you guys know I've talked about dressing rooms in burlesque before. Look at this. Glamorous, glamorous, glamorous girls, guys, gays, and theys. And then mop buckets. Trash. Holes in the floor not really a dressing room, dishwasher, elevator that goes to nowhere, and then this is my setup. So this is tonight's dressing room. We've been here before. We know some of these people. We know that one. This is a new one. This is Margot Starlux. We knew her, but now we know her. You know this one. Bougie Queen Lulu. <laughs> She's always got a dance. It's perfect. And then that's a new one in the back too. Miss Lulu Arms. Legendary. Let's get it in focus. Uh, is this focusing? Oh yes, focus. you look fantastic. Okay. And there's another one that we know over here trying to hide in her purple aesthetic that I was just talking about. She looks so good. Oh my gosh, look how everything is purple, 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 purple. Fabulous, Miss Ashanti doll. And then come on with the Tom Ford bitter peach. She's expensive, y'all. Super expensive. I can't get over it. This is my setup over here in the corner. So my shoes, my drink, and my suitcase. The rest of the dressing room. Now for me personally, whenever I show up to a gig, I like to come hair and makeup ready. So the only thing I have to do is change into my costume when I get there. So that's what you're seeing right now. Everything's done except for my lipstick. I'll probably respray my hair and then get dressed. I'm sorry. Not everybody fits in the bad bitch genre. It's a genre. Not everybody fits on the Rasta. Another reason why I love this show is because the audience at the Boom Boom Room and at the Blind Barber is not afraid to tip. Tips were a flowing that night. Oh 
was really upset with myself that I didn't get any footage of me actually dancing on this night, especially because I debuted a new costume, but no worries, we'll get it eventually. Um, I did, however, take a lot of time downstairs in the barbershop taking photos, and then this is like the aftermath of that. Somebody came in and told me that my shoes matched my slippers, which they absolutely do. I bought those on purpose, and I know I've had a bunch of people ask me about these high-heeled mules, as well as the rabbit fur flats that you see me sliding on right now, so I will be sure to add them to my Amazon storefront. Yes, you heard it here. I've got both pairs of shoes on Amazon and they don't look like it. And both of them are like so nice. The fur is so plush. You need both pairs. I'm telling you right now. Um, but this is me at the end of the night sliding off my high heels into my slippers and getting ready to walk back to the garage and head home for the night because I'm going to be spending the rest of tomorrow working on my costume for Thursday. The Green Fairy Show is on Thursday. It's done by the same producer, Lulu Lenore, and I needed to finish this corset that I bought. Um, Amazon screwed me again. I ordered it a while ago, but it got put on back order and it didn't come in until the day before the show. So I was just sitting there painting and rhinestoning this corset all day and I didn't even finish it completely. I got as much as I could done to get ready for the show, which was at Royal Boucherie, which is in Old City, Philadelphia, I think that's what they call it, or Old Town Philadelphia, the original part of Philadelphia. And you could tell it was original when you look at the decor in here. Like, look how old school and old timey it is. It is perfect for a green fairy themed show. Anyways, after I set down my bag and looked at the set list, I followed the rest of the showgirls into the outdoor patio dining room space where the venue had set up a beautiful charcuterie board showgirl plate for all of us. We also had champagne and water, obviously. Gotta stay hydrated. Showgirls love their bubbles. See, Lilu always has a little dance. You see that over there with her little head wrap on. So we basically just sat here and had a showgirl mad tea party and talked shit and drank bubbles. It was fantastic. And then Lilu checked the time and about 20 minutes before the show was about to start, we all went backstage and started getting dressed, dressed, putting on our costumes and everything. Um, I had to show you guys just a little bit of the decor back here. It is too perfect for an absinthe green fairy flavored show. Yes, I said flavored, you'll get over it. And you know I have to show you the dressing room of the evening, which once again is not really a dressing room. They had us set up in the big boss's office. So the person who owned the Royal Boucherie, this is their office. I was literally behind her desk getting dressed, looking at the pictures of her children and her husband. She has a great plant wall, which I'm about to show you right here. Yes, yes, and that sign is perfect. Make today your bitch. A quick up close of my costume tonight. I am the green fairy. Uh, Lilu asked me to be Tinkerbell essentially, so I gave you a little bit of black Tinkerbell realness. And then I wanted to show you guys where we were actually performing. So we're sliding into the event space that they have set up for us. And isn't it perfect? It looks like an old school salon where you would go and listen to poets and artists and drink absinthe and just fall into delirium. Isn't it perfect? And look at Lilu's costume. I mean, come on, come on. Of course, once again, I did not get any footage of myself performing, but the audience loved me. You know, as soon as I pull out the big booty, it's over. But anyway, the show was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed myself. And I just headed out to the garage to pay for my parking and head home. And we had another successful week of burlesque shows here in Philadelphia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this new kind of voiceover format. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I always wanna hear what you guys think and what you want me to record next on my burlesque journey, or if you have any questions related to yours. Thank you so much for watching.